Let's take a look at the length of days and nights using this Seasons in 3D gizmo. So I have set the date to the 4th of July at 4 in the morning. You can see we've got a dark night sky. And if you look at the bottom left, you can see that our location is marked with the red dot. And you can see that we have the axis of the Earth indicated with a white line. And the equator that goes around the Earth indicated with a black line, like a belt. So if you look at the position of the red dot, you can see we're in the shadows right now. This is nighttime. Well, technically morning, but it's still dark. That's what I mean by night. So if I click ahead, it's now 4.30 in the morning. See the sky has gotten light as the red dot approaches the uh, end of the shadows here. And I'll click ahead again. And pay attention to where the red dot is. Seeing the moon rise. There's the sun. It is 8.30 in the morning. It seems to have come out of nowhere, but really it was just off to the left, uh, further east. We couldn't see it. It had risen a while ago. You can tell because the sky was light. Now, watch as I continue to move the simulation ahead. Pay attention to the time. It's 8.30 in the morning. 9, 10. Notice the red dot now. Since the axis of the Earth, uh, the northern part of it, so the northern hemisphere, is tilted towards the sun, as I advance through the day, you can see that the red dot follows a path that takes us down and way you know, into the sunlight. And in the 2D view, the sun is getting very high in the sky. It's shining straight down on the red dot, especially at about 12 o'clock in the afternoon or noon. Our moon is kind of in the way here, but just ignore that. So the sun is shining almost straight down on the red dot because the Earth's axis is tilted. In the northern hemisphere, it's tilted towards the sun. Let's look at the graph of the hours of daylight. You can see that where the red dot is here on the graph is between 12 and 16, so 14 maybe, 14 and a half, I think, hours of daylight is what this graph is showing us. Um, you can see back in January it was, you know, just over 8, so 9 or 10 hours of daylight. And that has gone up as the months have gone on. And we're now in July, 4th of July. We have lots of hours of daylight. You can see from the model, that's because that red dot, as the Earth spins, has to take a path that leads us through having the sun shine down directly on our heads. Going back to 2D view here. And I'm going to make the sim go very quickly now, because I want to, maybe not quite that fast, I want to watch the Earth revolve around the sun uh, to the other side. I want to let it go to winter, December, maybe around Christmas time. So I'm going to click play, and we'll watch the Earth revolve around the sun. There it goes. Notice the tilt of Earth's axis. Uh, stays tilted just the same. We're in fall here now. I paused it on September 25th. Let's continue our path around the sun. December 21st. That'll do. We're getting close to Christmas time. Now notice the Earth's axis. The, the, we have the same tilt, but since we're on the other side of the sun now, in the northern hemisphere, we are tilted away from the sun. Let me slow the sim speed way down so that we don't go too fast, because I want to back up to sunrise. Here we go. Early 
morning before the sun is up. You can see the red dot here. This is top down view. So we are about to pass into the light as the earth rotates. There we go, the sky has gotten light. We're just about into the sunlight. And here comes the sun over the horizon in the 2D view. The sun has risen. And I'm advancing the sim. We're now at about 10 a.m. Let's keep going. And we're at 12 a.m. Wait, no, that's a glitch. This is actually 12 p.m. 12 a.m. would be midnight. So this is 12 p.m. The sun is uh, as high in the sky as it's going to get in December. But notice it's pretty low compared to where it was in July. I'll go back and show you that again in a minute. We can compare that. But notice how short our day is going to be. And that's because we're now tilted away from the sun. As I advance the sim, yeah, we've got sunlight shining down right on us right now, but not directly because we're tilted away. We're leaning back away from the sun. We advance through the afternoon. Sun's already going down, and it's only 2.10 in the afternoon. 3.10. Sun's starting to get pretty low in the sky, and we're about to have sunset. And there goes the sun, and it's dark, 5, 10 p.m. That's because our location, marked by the red dot, is now tilted away from the sun. So the path that we take as the Earth rotates is a short path uh, getting from morning to evening. Let me make it go a little bit faster, and you can see. See, we just barely get to peek through that sunlight before we are rotating out of it again in the winter. And look at our graph of hours of daylight. See, we have far fewer hours of daylight than we did in July. Nine, ten maybe. Hard to tell exactly from this graph. But far fewer than in July. Let's go back to July one more time and see how high the sun was in the sky. There we go, July 9th, that'll do. What time is it? 5, 10 p.m.? Let's back this up a little bit. 1, 10, 12, 10. So it's about noon, and look how high the sun is at noon in July. That's because we've taken this path that leads us way down towards where uh, the sun is shining directly above us. We didn't look at the shadows, comparing them season to season. This is a stick in the ground. We're looking straight on it. Look how short this shadow is at noon in July. Let's advance this quickly to December, about noon, and see what that shadow looks like. You can see the shadow is getting longer. We're now in October, November. Now into December, almost Christmas time, the shadow is quite long at noon. That's because the sun is not as high in the sky, so the shadows appear longer in winter.